Stains, scratches, and scuffs. The deadly trifecta that will make your dress shoes look old and worn out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your shoes look new again. The number one secret to fighting stains is to act quickly. The longer the stain sits, the more likely it's gonna become permanent. Now, how you treat a stain will depend on what caused it in the first place. Now remember, with any stain treatment method, you wanna spot test first. You're testing that treatment method on a part of the leather that's going to be unseen. That way, if it darkens the leather, you know before you treat the whole shoe. Also, note that light-colored leather is especially prone to color change. Let's start things off talking about water stains. Obviously, you wanna to try to keep your leather shoes out of heavy rain and puddles. But if they happen to get wet, they happen to get soaked, here's what you do. First, blot your shoes with a dry cloth to pick up any excess water. Next, put in cedar shoe trees to help absorb moisture and keep your shoes from becoming misshapen. Now, let the shoes sit at room temperature until dry. And by the way, guys, don't use a hair dryer. Don't use heat to try to speed things up. This can shrink the leather. Now, once the shoes are dry and if water spots remain, this is what you want to do. Mix water and a little bit of dish soap together in a bowl and then apply the solution to the stain using a sponge or cloth. Now you wanna gently scrub to remove the stain. No harsh scrubbing. That can damage the finish of the leather. Let the shoes dry and see if the stain is gone. If not, repeat the process again. Now what about a dark stain? Let's say red wine, what do you do? Use a clean cloth or paper towel to blot up any excess wine on the shoe. You wanna blot, you don't wanna press hard, you don't wanna rub or scrub the shoe. This can press the wine deeper into the leather. Next, you wanna dampen the cloth with a hydrogen peroxide solution, which hydrogen peroxide can be found in any drugstore. You wanna rub gently until the stain is removed. If the stain is sticking, repeat as needed until the stain is completely gone. What about grease stains? How do you get rid of those? So with a grease stain, you wanna cover the stain with a half teaspoon of baking soda or cornstarch. It usually takes a couple hours, but the powder, it starts to absorb. It pulls the grease out of the leather. Every couple hours, you wanna wipe the powder off, check the results. If the stain is still there, apply more baking soda or cornstarch, let it sit for another hour, check again. Repeat as needed until the stain is gone. What about ink? How do you get rid of ink on your shoes? I'll be honest, gents, this is one of the toughest stains to tackle. You wanna use rubbing alcohol and go ahead and apply it to a cotton swab. Then dab that cotton swab onto the stain. As the cotton swab starts to absorb the ink, go ahead and replace it with a new cotton swab. Again, wetting it with alcohol or nail polish. This is a very harsh treatment. Rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover, it can damage the finish of leather shoes and mar the color. So once you're through with this treatment, make sure to use a shoe cream to help restore an even color tone. Now let's talk about how to get rid of salt stains. So if you live in a part of the country where they throw salt on the roads to get rid of ice and snow, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to salt stains. They're annoyingly difficult to get rid of. That is unless you know the secret. And the secret is one part water to one part vinegar. This is the solution you're gonna put together and wipe down your shoes with. Using a clean cloth and the water vinegar solution, you wanna gently rub the salt stain until it's gone. Now, all of these stain fighting methods I just talked about, they can strip away moisture from your shoes. Now, I highly recommend after multiple treatments or at least once a month to use a leather conditioner. Leather conditioners are great for helping to re-moisturize the upper of a shoe and prevent cracking and damage. And if the color of your shoe has been affected in any way by the treatment, again, use a cream polish in the same color as the leather to bring back an even tone. Next up, cracked and cut leather. If you wear your shoes on a regular basis, most likely you've got at least a few cuts on the upper. The reality of cuts and cracks is that you can't reverse the damage, but you can take steps to dramatically improve the appearance of your shoes. I want you to stuff newspaper into the shoe so it holds its shape during the repair process. I want you to use a cleaning brush to remove as much dirt and debris from the shoe as possible. Get rid of all of that sand, all that salt, anything that's stuck to the outside of the shoe. Next up, we're gonna use a saddle soap to thoroughly clean the leather on the upper of the shoe. It's important that the shoes are dirt-free to prevent additional damage. 
to do this, you're gonna wet a cloth and create a lather. You're gonna apply the soap to the shoes, then wipe off any excess soap with a rag. Let the shoes dry for 10 minutes. Now the cleaning process will have dried out your leather shoes, so you wanna use a leather conditioner or moisturizer to rehydrate your footwear. You wanna sand down the rough edges of the crack or cut with 220 grit sandpaper. Be very gentle and scrub the crack until it better blends in with the surrounding leather. Wipe clean and remove any dust. And on a side note, anything coarser than 220 grit sandpaper will damage the leather, so be careful. Now you're gonna use a resin-based repair cream to fill in the crack. Be sure to get it in a color that matches your shoe. Gently dab the repair cream into the cracks, making sure you leave a smooth, even surface. Let it dry for 15 minutes. Next up, you wanna apply a cream polish to get a uniform color, which I will cover in the next step. If you wear your dress shoes, you're going to accumulate scuffs and marks over time. But how to get rid of all the scuffs and annoying marks on your footwear? So one option is to use saddle soap to clean the shoes. This step will remove most superficial scuffs. You don't have saddle soap handy? You can actually use toothpaste to clean scuffs off of the leather. Using a toothbrush, preferably not the one you use in your mouth, and a dab of toothpaste, scrub the scuff marks. Apply a little bit of water to help the toothpaste foam up and then scrub in circular movements. Wipe off and then let the shoe dry. Voila, scuff marks removed. Remember, after you clean your leather like this, you want to condition the leather. You want to re-moisturize it. After doing that, apply a wax polish to protect the shoes. Now, what about for stubborn scuffs, marks, and discoloration? The key here, gentlemen, is to use a cream polish. These are very effective at restoring a uniform color to your shoes and providing valuable moisture to the leather. To get started, take an applicator brush and apply a layer of shoe cream to the entire shoe. Make sure to get even coverage over the shoe upper. Let it sit for about five minutes, then buff your shoe with a horsehair brush. Now you want to inspect your footwear. Examine the shoe, checking for any remaining scuffs or marks you might have missed. If you missed any, then all you have to do is apply a second coat of shoe cream to get the job done. And of course, after this, don't forget to apply a wax polish. Wax polishes are great for not only giving a shine, but protecting your shoes from the elements. Now at this point, you're probably saying, Antonio, that's great, but what about my leather jacket? This thing looks like it's seen better days. Well, gents, don't worry, I've got you covered with this video right here, how to bring your leather jacket back to life in quick, easy steps.